What is going on everyone? It is Jaker GG and welcome back to episode 15, I think. I am not sure I'm recording a while, but I think this is episode 15 of Cosmic PvP Factions. Of course, we are here on the Ice Planet as always, and we are sitting here in the new base. And before we get into anything with the new base, I just want to give you guys a quick little update about what's going on IRL, not really in Minecraft, but um, some of you may know I was on vacation for the past four days, and in fact, the videos uploaded uh, Wednesday through Saturday. I recorded daily from Wednesday through Saturday. I think I even uploaded Tuesday, but that's besides the point. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I was on vacation. Well, it's Saturday. Today, I got back like late at night, and I'm recording a video really quick, and uh, this will go up on Sunday. So, yeah, anyways, I'm back from vacation. If you guys didn't know or you didn't know, I was in San Francisco for the past four days, so that's why I haven't been on like any servers. I uh, actually, let me move my mic really quick. Sorry if it makes a noise. Just want to move a little closer. Okay. Um... I was on Cosmic, like, really briefly. I just did my G-Kits and, like, sold something. Um, that was it. That was all I did as far as Cosmic. I never got in Fatality or Skyblock or anything, so uh, we'll get back to that. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. It feels weird. I haven't uh, played... I haven't really been on, like, a, a computer at all in four days. It feels weird. I feel like my sensitivity is, like, super high. We just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just need to adjust. But, yeah, we're here in the new base, and... Um, uh, to be honest, guys, I haven't really looked in this base at all. I, I saw that it was built, but I didn't really look at it that much because for most of the time that, um, don't mine. Uh, I'm gonna have to mine that because I am very curious what, uh, what if it, like, what if I mine this and it, like, explodes the base or something? Okay, I'm gonna be careful. Um, oh, you know what? It's probably... Oh, crap. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Dude, I shouldn't have been using explosive. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, if anyone from the faction is, uh, watching this video, just, uh, yeah, you can, like, skip ahead, like, a minute. Let me just go to the shop and get some weight stained glass. But, uh, yeah, I think that's because someone logged there. That's what it looks like because, uh, it's a, a solid block of obby. So either someone has a, uh, a home set there or someone logged out in the base or something. I don't know. Weight stained glass will go home to the base before anyone notices. But, yeah, um... I didn't bring any of the spawners, which is good, but in this video, we're going to be uh, showing you guys the new base, and like I was saying before, um, for most of the time they were building this base, I was not even online, I was on vacation, or it was like the day before I left for vacation when they finished this, I think, um, and I just wasn't on really much, I was like preparing for vacation and everything, so um, I did work on the regens a little bit, but other than that, I really didn't do much for this base, so i got to give a big shout out to all the faction members, and uh, I have been getting some questions on what faction I'm in, you can probably see it right there, um, Acid is the faction name, because if, if you do... FF Jaker1311. I might have showed this last video or something. Uh, someone has a faction named Jaker1311, so you can't even tell what faction I'm in, but it is called Acid. So, anyways, um, there's a spider spawner. Well, there's actually two spider spawners. There's one right here, which looks like, oh, looks like something got creeper egged. I haven't been on, so I really don't know anything, but it definitely looks like something got creeper egged because there's like floating spawners. Maybe, the, oh yeah, maybe that has something to do with this block maybe did someone i don't know if someone inside it or something i i don't know i haven't i haven't caught up with anything i literally just got home a couple hours ago and i'm hopping on to record a video so i can get a video up tomorrow because we have a long upload streak going so i wanted to keep that going but we do have a blaze spawner looks like eight spawners in that uh nothing i don't yeah nothing till the top of the base some random chests right here which is there a sign no there's not um but yeah, that's really all there is to the base. I'm going to be recording some more videos with the guys from the faction. I just didn't want to right now. I just wanted to record a video because it's like my first video back. So I just want to get back into the swing of things. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really know what else we're going to do in this video. Gosh, there are ants all over my desk. They're they're crawling on my arms. I feel like, I, I think they're flies. So I'm like, oh, it'll just fly away. That is like keeps crawling on my arm. There's literally ants in my room. This is... Uh, it's pretty annoying, but anyways, um, I, I think we can actually do some, yeah, look at that, oh, that is so beautiful, we can do all of our G-Kits, oh, we, we are going to have some fun, so, uh, let's go to home, um, home, what, what, what is the home, uh, vault, vault, gosh, I am so out of it, because I haven't been on Cosmic, like I said, in, like, four or five days, well, it's probably more like five or six, because I wasn't really on the first, like, the two days before I was, uh, gone on vacation, good, everything's still there, these were all my g I did while I was on vacation, and, um, luckily this thing still hasn't gotten raided, I'm not gonna show the cords, because, uh, yeah, that, that's just that. I don't even know why I said that, but we have some books here to tinker. Actually, I did get a few good books out of this G kit roll, and I'll show you guys those in a second. But uh, we're gonna tinker these bad ones first, and I will keep the the Vampire Three because uh, it's it's an okay book. I'd rather uh, I'd rather not tinker it because it's definitely worth more than just tinkering it. Got all mystery dust, but yeah, I'll go to my book PVs. As you can see, wow, I am fully stocked up on rare books. Like all these like uh, these slots are full except for. 
I mean, this is almost full, and the simples have a lot of room, but then PV14 are the good books. So, I got this Deathbringer 3 book out of Kit Enchantment. Like, that was literally out of Kit Enchantment. I got this out of my G-Kit, and then I got this out of my G-Kit, and I think that was it. I think that was, like, the really good book I got. And then, oh, no, 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 that's not even it. Wait, where's the Drunk 4? Yeah, I got this out of the same one. I got both of these, this Deathbringer 3 and this Drunk 4 out of Enchantment G-Kit. While I was on vacation, I hopped on the laptop. We brought a laptop, if you're wondering why, how I got on Minecraft. I just brought, like, our laptop, so I was able to hop on, like, briefly. But, well, that was that was really crazy. I, like, didn't even really do anything. I just popped on, hopped off. Um, so let's do all these G-Kits really quick. We have all this stuff in here. Actually, we'll take this out, make some rooms. So we'll be all gear in here. We're going to have a lot of fun going through this gear. There's actually a 60% off sale right now, guys. So that is something I might want to get involved with. Um, as you guys know, the uh, the EULA is, uh, is clamping down, I guess you could say, on Cosmic. And uh, I think... I don't know really what's going to happen yet. All I know is that the shop is not going to be the same um, for long. Like you're not going to be able to buy Fallen Heroes, I don't think. That's just that's just an assumption. Now they could make it again, like you know how they like changed them so that you you can't like buy a rank, but you can do a rank quest, so it's like the same thing. Although I don't think they can like do anything like that anymore. I think Mojang just might be like being like you can't even sell stuff on the server anymore. Like you can't buy something and get an item in game. I, like, I'm just I'm just guessing at this point. I don't really know the details. All I know is that it's not going to be the same like it is now. You're not going to be able to go in the store and buy your godly cosmic chests or cosmic crates and get a bunch of OP stuff. You're going to have to like either just pay for certain like cosmetic things. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just completely speculating, so it's not really like something I should be doing anyways. We got a 1% legendary magic dust, but we still have more G-Kits to do. Of course, we have our enchantment G-Kit, which is going to be a lot of fun to do. It's always really exciting doing that one. We have our newly acquired Grandmaster Kit, which I have not gotten a maxed helmet yet, but we will. Don't worry. We got the Voidwalker Kit, which comes with boots and a sword, which I got from, I think, my Cosmic Crate. Was that on my Cosmic Crate? I can't remember. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to look at the, the gear quite yet. We're going to have a lot of fun looking through all that. We've got the Master Builder, um, and we have our last two. We have the Grand Master, which I am going to look at the, uh, the helmet really quick here. Oh, that is terrible. That is literally the worst helmet you can get. Rip. And then we got our Heroic Enchantment Kit. I think that's all of them, right? We have 10. No, we have 11 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, and then this one. So there we go. Heroic Enchantment Kit. Let's take a look. We did not get a Black Scroll or White Scroll, which is unfortunate. That's two rolls in a row that we didn't get a black scroll or a white scroll, but we could get saved with the books. Like last time, actually, I like to say, I haven't gotten a soul enchantment book out of this GK yet, so maybe this is the time. Got Arrow Deflect 2, which is going to tinker. Killer a 4. Now, that's a book I actually already have. If you guys know, I've been going for a Killer a 5. I got a Killer a 4 89%, and I also have an Inquisitive 3, so I'm going to have like a half-made grinding sword. But, Detonate 8, that's max. Wait, no, is that? No, I think Detonate 9 is max. One second, I'm pretty sure Detonate 9, yeah, I'm like almost positive, yeah, Detonate 9 is max, okay, so we can, I don't know guys, I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little mini book area in this vault, just to like, books that I like, I want to keep, but I don't want to take up room in my PV, I'll put in here, so let's get some stained glass, of course, we always love keeping it nice and pretty with the stained glass, so I'll put this in here, and I'll just put like, go like this down the row, and then we'll have a little area so that we can keep books just in case we'll need them, but we don't really like need to keep them safe and take up room in our PV. So I think we're going to tinker this Killer of 4. Um, Haste 3 with great rates, that's awesome. Sniper 1, although it's legendary, we can still tinker it. Hellfire 4, it's not max, so I'm not going to keep it. And Delighted 2, so close to being a good book. If that was just in Lighted 3, I would have definitely kept that. But Tinker, they, they all go into the Tinker. Actually, we got three Legendary books to Tinker, so that's actually pretty good. We might get some Legendary Dust. Come on, Primal. Oh, we got a Dust, not going to complain. Mystery, Mystery, okay. Alright, well, at least the one Dust we got was Legendary, and it is plus one. Okay, of course it's plus one. So let's put that away. Not much Dust, but uh, we did get some decent books. Well, we got one decent book that we're gonna like put in our PV. The other one is just kinda eh. But now we can go through all our G-Kits and we're definitely gonna tinker a lot of this stuff. Um, I do actually try to sell a lot of stuff now just to make money because I don't really have an income right now. Although the base is up now so we should be making some money here soon. But I like to, to sell a lot of this stuff because a lot of this stuff is worth more selling than tinkering. But don't get me wrong, I'm definitely gonna tinker a lot of it too. Like this Big X Auto Small 1 Experience 1, it's just garbage. Um, detonate 6, Skilling 8, again, I uh, don't really care for it. Um, 
Heroic Death Greaves, those are just really bad too. Overload 2, uh, we'll tinker that. Overload 3, we'll keep it. And Lighted 3, we could probably sell it for like 5k. We, wait, how much XP would we get? We'd get, yeah, that was not even worth tinkering. We could definitely sell that for more. Um, that Sword, no one's gonna want that. Nah, Lighted 2. Overload 3, that's not a bad chest plate. Not the best, but not bad. Always gonna keep those Butcher's Axes. Um, a lot of this stuff is just like kind of like like eh. like I guess this I could probably sell in the a the AH a lot of the well the, it depends how much XP I'm getting two thousand XP that's the thing like a lot of this stuff it, yeah it would sell for a lot in the AH but like the XP you get is so good that's Rage one Life Steal one so that's probably not gonna sell again that's Gears one but how much XP see four thousand XP that's worth like I don't know how much Ultimate books go for but that must be worth like in the forty thirty k range and I don't think I'm going to be able to get that much out of Gears 1 pair of boots so that's just kind of my theory this doesn't have Rage so no one's going to really want that uh, this has Rage 6 but only Life Steal 3 it could probably sell that for more let's see how much XP would that be 4000 XP but I think I could sell it for like maybe 50k if it doesn't sell for 50k we'll tinker it um, that bow is pretty bad but that one is good um, let's see I'm just I'm going to try to go through this a little bit quicker we're taking a little bit too much time tinkering all this gear um, I'm not going to really put too much thought into this, just kind of go through here, tinker what I think I should tinker. Okay, let's go ahead and sell all this stuff really quick. So we got that, we'll just sell for 5 We're probably just going to sell this for 5 k so we'll sell quickly. Like I said, it's probably not like worth it for the, the money, like we should probably go for the XP instead, but you know what, let's get some money, might as well, because you know, with the books, the thing is, we're probably just going to get trash out of the books, so... Alright, those boots have, are terrible, 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 terrible. Okay, those are definitely all tinkers. Tinker really quick and put those in there. And, uh, okay, the rest will sell or keep. Um, okay, now we gotta put all this XP down. Let's, let's say hi to this guy, thanks. I always try to reply to the people who message me about my videos. Um, a lot of the times I'll be AFK, and some people do get upset when I don't reply. There's a lot of times where I don't reply, but there's definitely a fair share of times where I do reply. A lot of times when I'm in PvP or stuff like that, I won't be able to reply right away. But um, I always pretty much end up do replying. I I end up replying to most people. Um, AH sell 50k. Like I said, I don't think did any of this stuff even sell. Like at this point, like come on, it's 5k. Like if no one's gonna buy it for 5k. I don't think anyone's gonna buy it. That's a GK for 2.5 mil, but it's a pretty bad one. Um, yeah, like, come on, 50k, if no one's gonna buy it for 50k, I'll just take the XP. Like, at that point, if I put it any lower, the XP is just gonna be, it's just gonna be, like, losing money, because the XP is worth more. So let me just tinker all this stuff. I mean, I probably could've sold if I left it on there for longer, but whatever. We'll get a bunch of XP, we'll get to open up a Legendary, at least. Um, this stuff we'll keep, we're, we're putting, like, all our keep stuff in here. We're gonna have a lot of like PvP gear once I do start PvPing. Someone left a comment that they want to see some more PvP, which uh, definitely gonna do some more PvP once I can get together with some people. But at this point, um, when I'm like solo, I'm, well, not solo, but like I'm, I'm without a lot of people to PvP with. It's kind of tough because you just get ganked, but. You know what? We'll definitely try some PvP here soon. The Gears 3 stuff will definitely sell, so I'll keep that. The Gears 3 almost always sells for around 20 to 25k. Um, Gears 2, Rage 2, Life Steal 5. I saw actually an Inquisitor. Yeah, there's an Inquisitor 4 Rage sword right there. That's going to be Tinker. Only Death Ringer 1. I mean, it's Overload 3. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Um, this is all stuff that I got from my last G-Kit roll that I did while I was on vacation, so I didn't really look at any of this stuff at all. Um, just trying to get through this stuff quickly. Um, that was like the only thing I looked at, the, the helmet, and I saw that it was bad, and I was like, oh, well, that sucks. But, okay, full. The Tinker is full. Okay, we need to go through this really quick because I'm wasting so much time doing this and I'm sure you guys are going crazy because this is so boring. So you know what, let's just put away all this stuff because I think a lot of this stuff I decided to keep. Uh, that will keep that, 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 that. Actually, we can sell that really quick. Um, and then this will tinker, that will keep, that will keep, keep. Okay, let's do this really quick. But yeah, guys, uh, tinker that. Uh, it's nice to be back in Cosmic. I like I said, like I've been saying, I haven't been in Cosmic in a while, and I do have those uh, Soul Books to open, which I I think I'm gonna do in this video. And if you see the title that says Soul Books, then I'm definitely doing the video. But I think what I'm gonna uh, I end up doing what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to open up one and sell one. Now I got a lot of mixed comments. A lot of people said sell one, open one. A lot of people said open both, but no one said sell both. So I think I'm gonna go in the middle. 
Open one, sell one. I think that's the most smart thing to do. Um, like I said, I was going to sell this. So you sell 50k. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll go into our PV. We have been saving. Well, where are they? Okay, they're right there. I was getting worried there for a second. We still have the shard rank quest, dude. I forgot about all this stuff. Like, I did this video right before I left, and I forgot I had all this stuff. So we have two soul books. Man, we're going to have a lot of fun in this video. So we still have a bunch of XP to open. Let's go back to the base. Actually, I'm just going to go to spawn. I'm not going to risk anything with these soul books because... Being that like uh, the the guy like logged in the base or something, I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna risk anything. So let's quickly open up some books. We got eighty thousand XP. You know what we're gonna do, guys? I know I do this all the time with 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 chests and with books, but you know what we're gonna do? Since we had the chance to do this, can you guess what I'm doing? We are going to open up one of every book. And now I could have done this with chests, actually, because I did get the godly chest out of my um, August Cosmic Crate, which was really hype. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. I think it was like my last Cosmic video I posted. But I opened up an August Cosmic Crate, and I ended up getting a godly crate out of it, which was pretty hype. And I did really good on the crate, I think. So you guys can go check that out if you want. But we're going to get another legendary, um, a, a few more elites, an ultimate, an ultimate elite, don't have enough. How much XP do we have? All right, we don't have enough. Enchanter. We'll open up uh, a couple more of these. There we go. Perfect. We have one soul book, and we have a bunch, like a several of the lower tier books, including two legendaries. So this should be a lot of fun. Um, like I said, we're gonna sell the other soul book now. I don't know if I'm gonna put it up for like a solid price. I really don't know what they're worth. I have no idea what soul books are worth. Let's see if there's any on the AH by any chance. I just saw one guy item one. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really know what soul books are worth, so I might just have to like ask around or put it up for like for bids. Um, but anyways, let's get into this. We're gonna open up the three simple books and go all the way up the all the way up the ladder with the, the tiers of books, and we'll, we'll tinker each group of books as we go, just to have a little bit more fun. There we go. So we got oh. I, I accidentally opened up one of the elites, so let's just go for both of them. We've got Aquatic 1 with pretty good rates and Featherweight 3 with bad rates. We'll tinker that, and good, there we go. So we only have one dust so far, which is not bad. I mean, I don't really care about the lower tier dust, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go to PV. Uh, I can't even remember what PV my books were in. Okay. Aquatic 1, we'll keep that just in case. I, I probably have an Aquatic 1. Yeah, I already have an 84, but we'll keep it We'll keep it anyways. We can put it in our, uh, in our vault if we, if we run out of room. Um, anyways, we got three more elites, or three elites, not really three more elites, but there we go. Valor 5, that could be something really good. If this has good rates, I'll be very happy. Come on. Oh, that's really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think Valor, yeah, Valor 5 actually does different stuff. Now, it reduces incoming damage while wielding a sword up to 22.5%. Now, when you're mostly, when you're PvPing a lot of the time, at least me, I usually use an axe, but if I have a divine sword... That would be pretty nice paired up with the Divine Sword. So definitely a Keeper book, although we're out of room. So we're going to we're gonna put that to the side. Uh, we'll actually go back to our vault and uh, sort some stuff out there. One person actually commented on my video and said to do a video where I organize my PVs or just show how I organize my PVs. So I think we're going to actually incorporate that into this video. So if you are watching that, the guy who commented, I replied to your comment. Um, I think he saw so, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that really quick here. I don't want to spend too much time on it since this is already a pretty long video and it's going to get longer, but I just accidentally took a screenshot. Okay, on to the ultimates. Here we go. Four ultimate books open. Boom. Venom 3. All right, all right. That's pretty good. I think, yeah, Venom 3 is maxed. Demon Forge 1. Definitely going to tinker that. Don't care about the rates. Unfocus 4. Now, that's also a new enchantment. Chance to unfocus target player, reducing their outgoing bow damage by 50% for up to 10 seconds. Now, it's it's not it's going to be a Tinker book anyways. I'm just kind of curious. So, I didn't really think about that while I was reading it. I just kind of read it. So, reducing their echoing bow damage by 50% for up to 10 seconds. Okay, so basically, you um, you make them do less bow damage. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. I think it's you just you make them do less bow damage. So, slash Tinker, let's go ahead and put these away. And the Tinker, of course, not any good on those. Oh, we still have one more ultimate to open. What am I doing? Okay, block two. I don't even know why block... Wait, is block two something different? Oh, I guess it redirects an attack now, but block used to be um, elite. There's a lot of changes in the book tiers. A lot of books were moved around. Creeper armor was moved to ultimate. It used to be legendary. I'm happy about that move because I hated getting the creeper armor out of legendaries. Um, there was something I was going to do. What was I going to do? What was I gonna do? Oh my God. This is gonna bug me. I was I was thinking of something specific. Like it was just a quick thing I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I was to check the new update. Like F Bank is F B F. Um, oh, I don't remember it. Uh, F two F Help two. I don't remember that. It, it's probably on the last page, right? 
Um, F reload now. Yeah, there's a new update where you can put money into a faction bank. Now, I don't know how to do that. FD1. Now, I don't remember how to do it, but uh, you guys probably know. I'll go check on the forums after this. But you can actually deposit money into your faction bank now, and then your mods or owner can take money out. So it's pretty cool. Anyone can deposit money. The the mod or owners can take it out. Let's see if it. Yeah, rank balance or bank balance, 20k. Is it F slash F bank? I think it should be slash. F no, that's weird. Slash F B. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the command is. You guys are probably yelling at me right now because I don't know, but. Let's get into these books. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. So we got two more legendaries open. Killer one. Not what I was hoping for. Okay, one more. Come on, Killer five. Inquisitor four. Something I need. Something I need. Come on. Clarity one. Wow, that sucks. Both awful books going straight to the tinker, no matter what the rates are. We got two. Oh, this is. They're both going to be ones. Just watch. They're both twos. Wow, that, that's actually that. The odds for that must be pretty low. 4% worth of uh, Legendary Magic Dust. We're doing pretty good on the Legendary Magic Dust this episode, but now it is time to open up the Soul Book. So let's go in chat. Item, um, opening up, um, uh, let's, oh, I can't type. Let's get some hype. We, we always gotta hype it up for the Soul Books. If you guys remember last season, we were opening up Soul Books like every other episode. Well, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but we opened up a lot of Soul Books back in the day, and it's been a while. It, this is the first Soul Book of Map 4. So, wish me luck. Let's hope for the, the, the Nature Wrath. We're basically opening it for either Nature Wrath 3 or 4, and then Divine Emulation 3 or 4. If it's not one of those, it's probably gonna be bad. Unless it's like 100%. Divine 2 or something. So here we go. Let's tell this guy. Uh, oh, I want to tell this guy I'm recording just in case if he wants to say anything. Yeah, of course I'm recording. If I'm opening a soul book, I would never open up a soul book and not record it. I, I would never do that. Um, but anyways, uh, why only one? Don't you have two? Well, vanilla money, I guess if you're watching this video, you would have known that I'm going to... Um, I'm going to sell one. But anyways, Rice Eyed is saying Divine 4. I'm really hoping for that. So here we go for the soul book. In three, two, one. Let's get, let's get that firework. Oh yeah, the red firework. All right, let's let's spam the chat up a little bit. Let's go back in regular mode. Let's see what we got. You know what we're gonna do first? Let's uh, how do we? I want to make it so I can't see the chat. So we're gonna chat. We're gonna make it opacity. No, we're gonna go like. Okay, let's put it like tiny, and then let's go in there. Um, item. Uh, GG or n no. Okay, I can't even see what it says. We'll let it, we'll let the chat go away. Alright, controls, oh I know, we gotta go chat settings. Does, is it showing? Oh, I, yeah, it's still showing, but I can't see what it is. Oh, it's not showing anymore. It's not showing anymore. He said, nah, Jaker, no. Don't do this to me. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna look at what it is. Oh, everyone's saying rip. Whoa, dude. Oh, don't tell. Oh, it's immortal. Immortal one. L O. -L. Dude. <laughs> Worst soul book ever opened on Cosmic. <laughs> that is literally so terrible. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Not even it. Not even it's just a like. Not even the fact it's a mortal one. Just like the rates. Like it's under ten percent. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, bro. Rip, dude. Oh my goodness. Well, basically, I'll still trade you my sister. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, we're gonna be selling this one for sure. After seeing that book, I mean, it kind of makes me want to open up another one. But it kind of makes me like terrified to open up another one because I'm gonna get something terrible. So well, we're gonna item this and ask for offers really quick. Um, see if we can get any good offers. Uh, yeah, basically this immortal one is a rip. Um, even if it was immortal four, I like immortal isn't even that good because it takes up a lot of souls. So we'll put that away in PV one. It's gonna haunt us forever. Again, just complete rip Jaker luck. He says go to top of spawn. I just saw him, didn't I? Yeah, he's right here. Saw dude. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, he wants to trade me. Gank, ganking, right? Gank, gank. Okay. What does he have? Well, I already have that G kit. But GG. MSG ganking. Ganking. 
GG. I, th I think that's one I already have, right? The Void Locker? Yeah, that's one I already have. But, uh, anyways, uh, Jacob 311, you back for vacation. Yeah. Okay, got offer of 100k. Um, yeah, so th there's no one on giving me any good offers, so we're gonna just put that away in PB2. But really quick, before we end this episode, we're going to do a, um, we're gonna do a quick little tour of the PVs since someone, um, requested that. This guy says open it. I'm not gonna open it, open it, man. Like, dude, that's just way too risky. I need the money, honestly, right now. If I was, like, rich with a ton of money, oh yeah, I would totally open it. But at this point in the game, I, I am far from rich, so I'm not gonna be opening it up. I'm gonna get the money and run, basically. So, let's quickly put away this book in our newly, newly made book chest. And then, before we end off this video, we are going to do a quick little tour of our PV. So, PV1 is always my PV where I keep all my, like, items that I use a lot, such as my grinding sword, my gear that I use with my grinding sword, um, don't know why this axe is here, um, my flint and steel, of course, for doing creepers, uh, fishing rod, you know, just for fishing, MCMMO, uh, all my tools are here, my sponge, and then for some reason I'm keeping my spawners here for now, um, I don't usually do that, and then I have my soul gems, these are just randomly here, I really haven't done much work with this PV, um, but last season, if you go look, a lot of my PVs were, like, the same. This PV is, like, raiding stuff, but then I also have, like, all my stuff I was getting from the bosses. I was, like, just building it all up here. And it's kind of just turned into, like, where I just put all my, like, my really OP stuff. Like, shard rank quest, item name tag, black scroll, white scroll, etc. PV3 is a bunch of G-Kit gear, which I can actually put that right there. Uh, none of it's, like, really that great. It's just gear I can grab and go PvP. PV4, we have my X-ray diamonds. We have, uh, some iron. We have obsidian, and we have all the buckets for making regens and such. PV5, just some more base building stuff. PV6 is where I always keep all my bows, or no, not my bows, my arrows, golden apples, and ender pearls. PV7 is just random stuff, like uh, either gear I get from... PV7 is basically where I throw stuff that I pick up at envoys, or, or um, stuff that I get from chests. Um, or stuff I get from like killing people in PvP like this stuff I got from my uh, from my cosmic crate a lot of that stuff I did PV8 is pots which I'm running pretty low on PV9 is pots and glacier gear for some reason PV10 is dust um, That was also my PV10 I think last season was my dust PV as you can see I have the stained glass to indicate the levels uh, PV11 is all it's a bunch of rank gear. I don't know why I put all this rank gear in here, but we can tinker all this really quick. I'll do it off camera. I'm not going to waste your guys' time with this, but I don't know why I put all this rank gear in here. Probably was just doing my kits, and I figured I'd put them in there. PV12 is literally garbage. Not a PV I'm even using yet. PV13 is is the the first three tiers of books. We have uh, kind of backwards, but we have simple, unique, rare, or elite. Sorry, I'm used to saying rare. I'm still used to saying the old names. Then we got ultimate and legendary. And then, of course, PV15 is always my admin items, and so far, those are the admin items I have. I think I might have missed some. Uh, with the new Cosmic PvP mod coming out, um, there's I, something I saw like with some exclusive admin items. So I don't know how those work, like if you have to have the mod to get them, or something. I really don't know. If any of you guys know like how the admin items work with the new Cosmic PvP mod, let me know. Um, but I, yeah, like I said, I don't really know how that works. So I think it was, what is it, PV12 that I, oh no, PV11. Let's grab this gear. I said I was going to do this off camera, but I figured I might as well do it while I'm talking. So I think that's going to be it, guys. Um, it was a pretty decently long episode. You know, usually my episodes are around 20 minutes. This one was close to 30. So, uh, uh, let's see, let's go. Yes. Next episode, I think I'm gonna pick up some more Fallen Heroes and stuff, just cause, like, I usually don't do a bunch of pay-to-win stuff, but since, um, since we, uh, we're not gonna have the chance to get that stuff for much longer, I definitely wanna jump on it and get as many G-Kits as I can, so expect, uh, some Fallen Heroes in the future, trade for the G-Kit gem- Dude, I would if it wasn't one I already had. Or a Blizzard rank? Dude, should I... I feel like a Blizzard rank is such a good deal. Like, for a soul book? Blizzard rank? Um... Dude. Oh, I don't know. Like, isn't a Blizzard rank worth a bunch of... That's 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 second... Of, yeah. Um, our MSG ganking. Uh, yeah, I'll trade it for the Blizzard. Like, that is a good deal. Like, if, Although, like, the G-Kit's also a really good deal, but I already have that G-Kit. Um... I feel like Blizzard is like a really good deal for a soul book. Um, that's a little overpaying though. Well, what can I give him the sweet in the potos? I'm not going to give him the shard rank because I kind of want to do that on video. 
Um, should I throw out an item name tag? Or... Transmog scroll. He says go desert. Is he going to do it? He might do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. If he wants to do it, I'm down for doing this. So let's go to desert really quick. Um, there he is. So, uh... Where'd he go? Oh, he did slash desert again, I think. Alright, PVT, let's grab the soul book. Um, let's see if he's going to do it, dude. If he gives, like, I feel like Blizzard rank is such a good deal. Like, that's second to top rank. Be I know, like, Blizzard rank isn't a great rank to get, because it's like, you don't get fly or anything. Well... I mean, tell me in the comments, guys. Tell me in the comments right now, um, is that a good deal? Did I just get a good deal? I feel like I did. I mean, obviously, if... Um, item, thanks. Alright, um, anyways, I feel like that's a good deal, because, I mean, obviously, if I were to open that, I would have gotten, like, a, a, a Mortal 4 book, or a Mortal 2 book, probably, because I would have gotten something better, but I would have gotten, like, a Mortal 2. So, I mean, for me, that's a good deal. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you guys don't play on Blizzard, uh, I mean... <laughs> If you guys don't play on ice, sorry, it's kind of late and I'm tired. If you don't um, play on ice, Blizzard is the second highest rank, so it's like the one before top rank. Let's see what he got, dude. Uh oh. What did he get? I'm hoping he got something good. Like I'm hoping he got like Nature F4 because, at, like, if not, it's probably a bad deal for him. Is he gonna item it? Oh, he's trading me. Trade. Oh. Oh, is he giving? Oh, does he want me to apply it? He probably wants me to apply it. Um, wow. I mean, it's Nature Wrath. The rates are not that good. It's Nature Wrath 1. It's it's not that good. Um, MSG, uh, ganking, you want me to apply? I don't know, is he just giving me? I, I feel bad taking this. Like, you literally just gave me a blizzard ring and everything. Oh, yes, please, okay. So I don't want to take your gear. Okay, he has a cactus, too, um, with some other stuff. We'll fix that for him. All right, if I break his pants, I'm going to feel so bad. All right, it went on. It went on. Yay! Okay, I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him. At least he got, um, at least he got nature Wrath on it. Um, that was some good Jaker luck. 46%. Dude, I was, I was honestly expecting for it to not work but not break. That was what I was... Well, honestly, I was expecting for them to break just because of, like, my luck today. But, dude, I'm happy for him. At least he got some Nature F1 pants. There you go, buddy. You have more lit Nature F than me. Um, it's not Nature F4, but it's it's something. It's something. So, uh, ganking. GG. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Let me know what you think about the Blizzard rank. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, it's a very high rank. I mean, it's like, what, a hundred something dollar rank? So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go down and hit that like button. Shout, shout out to Ganking for the deal, and um, I guess shout out to me for making this book apply. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.